Okay guys, uh, this is just a quick video on me sharpening. Um, I'm going to do a plain iron. Uh, this can be used to do uh, like a chisel. Uh, this is my setup. Um, I've got four stones. I've got an extra coarse, a coarse, a medium and an extra uh, fine or extra fine, which, which, whichever you want to call it. Um, I very rarely use this one other than if I've damaged the the very edge with me if me iron or me chisel whichever uh, or if I want to correct the the angle um, other than that these three get used um, equally um, so the course will hit and the fine and the extra fine or medium and fine which whichever way you wanna you wanna call it. Um, on the very last one, we uh, we pull the back, the back of the of the iron just to pull the burr. So on the coarse and the fine, we don't do that. Um, so when I first started doing this. I was, I was going like a, like at a pure 90 degrees or a zero degrees which whichever way you want to uh, put it but what I was doing when I was when I was coming back I was coming up too high and over time it was creating the heel so when it was in the plane there was too much of a heel it was making contact with the wood and the plane wasn't working correctly so I just can't get that sort of technique it might just be bad uh, body mechanics on, on my behalf so I also tried doing it this way so if you imagine if the if the if the plates or the stones were turned round and I was doing it this way the same again I'd, I just couldn't get that couldn't get the knack of it so as what I as what I do now I have the I have the the iron about it's about 70 degrees 80 degrees um, so when I'm looking at it, I can see I can see the angle. So I've got more control, so I can. So when I'm going backwards and forwards, whereas if I'm going this way, I can't really see it. And when you extend your arm, you kind of you tend well, I tend to want to to lift it. So with this way, I can see what I'm doing. The only, the only downfall with this is that you've got to try and create equal pressure. I mean, this can happen if you're doing it that way or that way, but you have got to try and uh, put equal pressure on. And another thing is that when we're using something fine like this, same again, I can see the angle, but when I'm going, you've got a tendency to, well, I have tendency to round it that way so when I do something fine like this this is like a like an 8mm chisel is it? oh sorry it's a 6mm sorry oh is it oh I'll have to jump it is an 8mm so so when I'm doing something like that I have got to take my time because when I first started doing this I was fine and I was doing that ever so slightly and I was and I was rounding it that way which I don't want to do so that's that so I'm going to go through shop me sharpening me playing iron. Um, so I'm going to get the camera set up a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, as I said, I'm going to sharpen me number four uh, playing iron. Um, this is a this is a hawk plane. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe, maybe not. So this steel is harder, so it takes a little bit more sharpening. But um, me personally, I would recommend you get one of these. They are good, or something as equal. So I'm just gonna spray some some window cleaner on this. So as I said, I'm just gonna keep this about seventy degrees. Now I'm looking, I'm looking for the the twenty five degrees here on the bevel.
see now I feel I've got like a lot more control whereas if I'm doing it that way now I can feel myself lifting, lifting the front edge up this is not intentional it's just like I said I just can't get that technique so I'm doing this I'm going to start lifting one edge up ever so slightly back down again now I'm going to go to the other side I'll give this a wipe that was what we're doing we're rounding this edge over just so we don't get um, we will get steps in, in work, work when we're playing them but this is going to minimise like the visibility of them so I always round these over a bit like can you see that Okay, so when we're doing this as well, we're feeling for a bear at the back, which we haven't got, so... So we're checking, so... Yeah, I can... I don't, I don't know if you will be able to see so I have got like a bit of a, a bit of a line here and a bit of a line at the very tip so I have been concentrating more on the middle so I'm going to start to drop this and raise it so I'm I'm gonna have a little convex so this is demonstrated all over and uh, in history that's how the that's how the old tradesmen used to sharpen the, the chisels and the planes so so I'm going but when you do this you, you should hear a, a change in the tone and the sound so I'm going to start lifting yeah, can you hear the change I'm going to go back there back to 25 and again I'm lifting it can you see the front edge is just lifted Lift, back down. And again. There's a the noise. It's nearly, nearly. Feeling for that bear at the back. Now, if we are using normal steel, what you would find in a in a vintage uh, Stanley Bailey's or a record Bailey's pattern. You'd be onto the the second stone by now, but as I said, because this is a harder steel, yeah, it does creep, it does require more work, but it does stay uh, shorter for longer. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, I've got that there. So we're onto a medium now. I'm lifting, I'm lifting that edge only ever so slightly about 10 degrees. Let's say, let's say, I'm going to start lifting. See that change, change in sound. Back down. Now I'm going to drop it, change in sound again. Back again. Starting to get a bit more of a burr there now, so I think I'll leave it as is. Now I'm going to go onto the onto the fine. See him again, same process. Just concentrating more on the 25 at this at this moment. 
I'm lifting one edge back down lifting the other and then back down now listen for the sound you hear it back down heel there's a the sound sound back to 25 So on this on this last one we're gonna pull the base so I put the edge over the plate so I'm not touching and I'm just gonna drag it once twice three times sometimes you can see the bear but on this occasion I can't gonna wipe that lay the stones always wipe your stones or your plates whichever you want to call them stop them getting gunked up I'll finish with them let's go back and for my bench and this this is a, a leather strop with some um, buffing compound this was like I think about five pound from eBay. It's like a big chunk of it. It's I've had it like about two years. It's like it's really cheap. But uh, you apply this to the leather strop. Yeah, this could actually do with uh, some more. To be honest, yeah. I have to clean this out. Yeah, but anyway, it's just a piece of leather, and I've epoxied it onto some oak. Yeah, this this section here uh, goes into the vase like so. fix it in place so when I'm when I'm stropping this is what this is what I like to do I like to uh, put it on the 25 degrees and lift one edge so I'm going to go about 30 to 40 times Same the other side. <laughs> and now I'm going for the uh, for the bevel itself. So. When you're doing this, when you're going along, there's a, it's what I was doing, and I understand a lot of people are doing this. You're getting to the edge, and you're like really lifting up. So you're coming along. So you don't want to be doing that. You want to keep it at the angle, bring it all the way along, and just lift it. So go and be doing that. Yeah, it's, you don't want to be doing that. You're gonna slowly change the angle over time so when you're coming you just bring it off so we're going to do 40 like this when I'm doing it I've got the I've got like the heel if you like section of your palm so that's like putting pressure on here so obviously you're gonna to have to be careful not to not to go under like so and bring it back down because you will you will cut yourself you'll you'll take a big chunk of skin out so be very you know watch what you're doing there make sure you're not you, like your flesh isn't like like so because you, you will you will chop a big chunk of skin out so be careful Now we're going to do the back, just 
same again when you're doing this just be careful where you're putting your palm because again you will it's this is going to be razor sharp so you're just getting rid of the burr so yeah be careful So sometimes I may go an extra couple, turn it, don't really need to was, sometimes I do. So there might be some burr left on, I can't see any but my eyes aren't great so you take it through some wood, you don't have to use your bench, but I can feel that there, so that's pretty sharp and of course the test so there we go, razor sharp so there you have it. Um, what I will say, if you are sharpening a chisel, um, I will sharpen the the plain plain iron. You would with a chisel, you wouldn't lift it to one side. You would literally keep it flat and move on to the next stone. Move on to the next stone. You would still round it up and down, but you definitely wouldn't lift it side to side like so. Um, so I hope I hope that helps uh, some people. Um, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah, um, more videos coming soon. Thanks.